my friend, did you know that there are three different types of enlightenment? And that's what I want to talk about in this video. And they're very real, right? And let's get right into this. If Have you ever wanted to have uh, success in an area of your life, but it's not happening for you quick enough, and it's really starting to frustrate you to a deep level of frustration where it can start becoming a negative thing, right? Maybe you look out at some other people that you know, and they're, they're progressing and excelling and evolving in their business or their life or whatever in, in the ways that you don't understand how they're doing that. And it's it could be really messing with you and you, you have all this head trash. Well, I'm gonna talk about three different types of enlightenment. So powerful. What's up, it's Keith Kelfis. Untrap podcast. My podcast just hit 200,000 downloads and Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, all that stuff. I'll put a link below. You can listen to this talk as well on the Untrapped podcast. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so I'll get right into it because this, this is so important. The first type of enlightenment is, you know, after you've gone through a tribulation in your life and your, your experience, a certain amount of time goes by and now all of a sudden something happens or you have this epiphany and you realize why you went through that. You go, wow, now I understand how, I, how I'm actually benefiting now because I went through that, that thing, right? And you overcome it, you upgrade your identity in like in an instantaneous moment. It's like a satora, it's an awakening. And now you become appreciative and you become fond of that thing, of your past or of that relationship or that business or whatever that is, right? You become fond of it. It's a beautiful thing in psychology when you can actually look at your past and instead of be, uh, looking at it through the eyes of a, a victim, you look at it through the eyes of a victor. You perception is, is, is everything. You become fond of it and now you reap all this value and all these benefits and you upgrade. That's the first type of enlightenment. You become enlightened in that moment, right? Well, the second type of enlightenment is while you are going through the tribulation right now, you can be going through something that is unbearable. You can be going through something that's very tough. And it's so real to you because it's real and in your life. And unfortunately, sometimes your problem is your problem. You can even be surrounded by loved ones, but you're just going through this thing and nobody seems to understand or care. All they care about is what are you, what are you providing for them? What are you giving to them? It's like you're the least important person in the, in the equation and you're breaking your back or you're going through this extremely, could it be an unfair thing? I won't, I won't digress in that. But while you're going through the thing, and, and, and say it's painful, right? There's different types of enlightenment. There's one enlightenment through suffering or the way of the cross, and, and it works. It's, uh, it's kind of an old way of enlightenment, but if, I've read a lot of Zen books on audible.com. You know, Zen philosophy, let me know in the comments below. But while you're going through the thing, you actually can have this, you understand why you're going through it, that it's actually benefiting you. You say, this is just a trial, this is just a tribulation, this is a test, I'm being tested. This is all about how I'm going to respond. This is a life learning lesson. This is something I need to go through right now because this is going to ultimately make you the man or woman who you dream of becoming one day, right? Now, the worst form of head trash is when you actually start telling yourself that you are never going to actually come to fruition and become that person that you dream of becoming one day. You're never gonna, it's never gonna happen for you. And you start having dark, gloomy pictures of your life going by another one, three, five, 10, 20 years, and you actually never becoming. Like you see your future very dark and very grim, and you see a grim future. When you lose all hope, and you don't have any hope, and everything is dark, that's when you get depressed. When you get anxious is when where you're at right now doesn't match where you think you should be right now in your life. This is where you expected yourself to be. This is where you said you always wanted to be. And you're not, you're not there yet. You're still here. Like you're not where you thought you should be by now in your life. 
you feel like you're behind and you feel this anxiety gap and it's driving you insane because you're trying your hardest, but it's not happening for you. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's a different video, but one way out of that trap is through gratitude. Do a purge, do a cleanse, get rid of old things in your life, old attachments. Uh, Ho'oponopono, I love you, I'm sorry, forgive me, thank you. Heal up relationships and things with yourself. And go on a fast, a cleanse, a diet, take a few days off work and sleep in, or go work your guts out. Whatever that thing is for you, that practice can actually get you to break off that mold and quantum leap to the next level very quickly. I've seen this happen in my life, so I've been through, through both. I've been through all this crap. It is where you go through years of trials and tribulations where nothing pops off and happens for you. And then all of a sudden one day, boop, something just boom, you just explode it to some level of success and it just becomes realized instantaneously. I promise this can happen for you. And I've watched this happen for me in my life. And it's just, it's the moments where you drop to your knees, you start crying, you start hugging people. You're like, I can't believe it. You go to bed floating on like on air because your dreams are becoming reality. So, you know, unfortunately, for me in my life, I had to have real, actual, physical, tangible things show up in my life to prove to me that this stuff was real. Okay, so, but while you're going through the hard time, you know why you're going through it, and you reap benefit right then and there. You still go through the hard thing. You still go through it. But you reap all the rewards and benefits because you know that it's just a trial and that way you can actually get through it. So here's what you, this is like a, like a quantum thing. It's a, I don't know, there's many different schools of philosophy, but just having that very attitude that, you know what, I'm in control. I have, you have more control over your circumstances than you actually think you do. Sometimes by just having an overwhelming level of positive expectancy and high energy and looking people in their eyes and being present with them and, and just becoming a servant. Um, sometimes you wanna be successful so bad and it's not happening for you. So you say, uh, Barbara DeAngelis said this, sometimes the most important thing you can do is to do nothing and just be nobody for a while. It doesn't mean that you stop trying, but what it means is you surrender and let go. <sighs> you just surrender. <sighs> Beautiful serenity. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, to accept, the, to, to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. All right? Are you obsessed with changing something that you can't change right now? Are you obsessed with thinking that you can't change something that is actually totally within your control to change, but you're too damn blind to see it because you're too close to it? Do you need to ha have some new people in your life, some new mentors? Do you need to join a mastermind group? Do you need to, 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 to detox off some, some crap you've been consuming or negative information and get on some positive information? Wh what is that thing? I, I think that you have a blind spot and you know what it is, but you're afraid to let go because the ego, your ego is blocking you. So here's the third type of enlightenment. This one's tricky. It's where you bypass the entire trial. The whole tribulation doesn't even have to happen. You can literally look and anticipate, like you can see around corners now, because you've been through this before. You can see around corners. And you don't even have to go through the hard thing. What happens is you, so, so you actually go around it, and you reap, you reap all these rewards and all these benefits right here, right now, and you actually level up at quantum speeds. I know it sounds so funny because I don't know any other way to put it because we're half spirit, half body, but you level up so much faster because you take full responsibility for that thing inside of your energy body. You take full responsibility for it before you even go through it, right? Let's say you're gonna uh, have some type of conflict, right? could be with a customer, it could be with a family member, it could be with yourself. Instead of going through this whole thing and going at war, you say, you know what, I, 
I take full responsibility for this situation. It could be something as simple as just apologizing or saying I'm sorry or saying, hey, you're not gonna do me like that. I've seen your type before. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this, this happen around here. We don't do that. We don't do that. That's a tough one for me, right? Drawing your lines in the sand and creating these healthy boundaries. I do, uh, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I've been doing this for like five years and I, I do it on Mondays. Uh, in case you need help with this, it's Keith Kalfas, www.keithkalfas.com forward slash call. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to talk to me for, for an hour. This is not what this video was about. I just felt called to say that uh, because I do, and it's just part of where my, my heart is at. And it's just, anyways, I feel very reluctant to like this YouTube thing when you're sitting here trying to, you know what I mean? But so the third stage of enlightenment is where you go around the thing. And you don't have to even experience the hard time at all. You just, whew, how do you get to that place? You look and you learn from other people's experiences. There's something about us. We like, we like to get involved in these weird little messed up codependent scenarios where we war with ourselves and war with each other just so we can have the secondary emotional payoff, this hit. Like, a, like, a, like an addiction, just so we can be a victim. It's hard to take full responsibility. So think about those three different steps of enlightenment, just to recap. The first one is where you go through the thing and you don't even see it, and it takes a long time, and after you go through it, you see why you went through it, and you get all the reward and all the benefit. Second type of enlightenment is while you're going through the tribulation, you can see why you're going why you're going through it, and you reap the benefit, and you actually get through it a lot faster because you know why you're going through it. And the third step type of enlightenment is you don't even have to go through the hard thing; you can actually circumvent it and go right around it, and still re all, reap all the rewards and all the benefits without wasting all the time by just being conscious and aware and learning from uh, yours and other people's experiences. Lesson is repeated until the lesson is learned. Thanks so much, I'm Keith Kalfas. I'll see you in the next video, man. And help me hit 100,000 subscribers, almost there. Just hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and I'll see you.